This video shall give you an overview about how to use the ABAP sizing report for BW and HANA to determine the resource requirements of the SAP HANA database after system migration. The BW and HANA sizing report has been developed to estimate the memory footprint of an existing SAP BW system running on any of the database platforms supported by SAP NetWeaver. It first determines the set of database tables in this system by inspecting the ABAP data dictionary. Then it reads a representative sample set of records from each database table. From this record set, an average record length of the, ABAP, of the table's ABAP representation is calculated and in combination with the total record count that is read from the database statistics, the overall size of this table is extrapolated. The HANA database compression techniques are very sensitive to data types, contents, and distribution of distinct values in each column. In SAP BW, we have found that different types of tables show different average compression factors. PSA tables, for example, appear to compress better than tables associated with data store objects. The BW on HANA sizing report makes use of this fact by applying table type specific compression factors along with BW specific semantic information to estimate the memory resource requirements for an SAP HANA database after system migration. So let's have a look at the report itself. We install and update this report by applying SAP node 1736976. Please make sure that before running the report, you download the latest version of this SAP node since the report is constantly being improved. Start the report by calling transaction SE38 and entering its name slash SDF slash HANA underscore BW underscore sizing. You will see a selection screen that provides you with various possibilities to configure and operate the report. In the first section of the selection screen, you can specify where the report result should be stored. The report will generate or replace the specified text file in the work directory of the application server, which you can later find in the SAP directory dear underscore home in transaction AL11. In the next line, you can specify the number of parallel processes that report can use to accelerate the processing of the thousands of database tables. Make sure that the number you enter does not exceed the free dialog word processes of your system. By using a low number, you can limit the impact of the report on other running processes at the cost of a slightly increased runtime. The remaining options in this section let you control, for example, if only tables with significant size should be displayed in the results or which target release for the HANA migration should be used to determine the list of row store tables. In the section Precision, you are offered another possibility to control the resources of your source BW system. Basically, the sections low, medium, and high have an impact on the size of the sample sets of records that are read from all the database tables. Higher precision means a larger record set, but also increased runtime. Low or medium should be enough in most cases because we found that increasing the precision has only very little impact on the sizing results. When thinking about a system migration, a customer might decide not to migrate their full BW system, but only a subset of it, for example, based on a specific data slice made up by a set of info providers. You can use the scenario subset selection option for exactly these cases. Enter the technical names of the top-level info providers that comprise the scenario and choose if you want to integrate this subset 
into an already existing BW system, or if you want to build a new BW system with only this subset. The difference here is that in the first case, the BW system, system tables are excluded from sizing, while in the second case, they are taken into account. The report automatically includes all database tables that are dependent on the specif specified list of info providers, such as PSA tables, master data tables, and so on. You can also opt for excluding the specified info providers from sizing. While the report can only provide a snapshot of the current system status, sizing considerations should always take future growth of the system into account. In the next section, you can specify the amount of data by which the system is supposed to grow over the next couple of years. In SAP HANA, data are loaded into memory only on demand. Once in memory, the data stay there and will only be displaced if there is a shortage of memory and the data has not been accessed longer than any other data. In SAP BW, there are table types which are preferred candidates for early displacement because they are typically only touched once and then no more. Good examples are PSA tables, which contain inbound data. Once the data have been updated to the next data warehouse layer, they are likely not accessed anymore. These data are called non-active and will be considered for sizing only to a certain amount. Beside PSA tables, we have such non-active data also in change log tables of data store objects and possibly in write optimized data store objects. PSA and change log tables are considered non-active by default. If you are sure that some of your write optimized data store objects also contain non-active data, you can enter their technical names into this object list. With the dynamic tiering concept, it is possible to outsource database tables to a disk-based storage environment, which is attached to HANA as a separate SAP IQ database node. Apparently, tables living in the dynamic tier do not require any SAP HANA resources and hence do not contribute to the overall sizing result. Enter the technical names of those tables that are supposed to be moved to the dynamic tier in this list. Depending on the overall memory requirements of a system, the sizing report will derive a proposal for a suitable HANA server landscape, which consists of one or more server nodes. In the memory configuration section, you can specify which server configurations are to be considered, depending on the amount of memory in each single server, and of course, on the availability of such configurations at your hardware vendor. So far, we have learned about the configuration options that the ABAP sizing report for BW on HANA offers. Let us now look at the detailed results of this report. We call transaction A011, go to Dear Home, and find the text file that we have specified in the selection screen before. The report starts with a summary of the data that it has found in the source database. The overall data size of the tables, that is the size of the data without indexes, is listed along with the shares for different table types. In our example, the data of the source database have a size of approximately 3,900 gigabytes. Note that the footprint of the source database will actually be different because indexes, temporary space, and pre-allocated segments have not been taken into account. Beside that, the source database might come with some database-specific compression techniques, which are also not taken into account by these figures. The next size section summarizes the total memory requirements for an equivalent BW on HANA system. The report calculates results for two different configurations, one with a minimum amount of memory and one with a recommended memory configuration. Along with the amount of memory, the report shows the disk space requirements for data and log files and the number of required server nodes to build a scale-out landscape. Drilling one level of detail down, data shares for the row store, column store, and service components are displayed both for the master node and for the slave nodes. 
while the first column shows the size of the HANA data, the second column also includes space for temporary HANA objects, which emerge as intermediate query results or during delta merges of column store tables. The third column displays the space that is required after considering the impact of non-active data. The following two sections show year-by-year -year sizing estimations after applying a given growth rate and some system-specific information like the date and the time of the execution of the report, its overall runtime, the source database platform, and some release information. The remaining part of the report output shows sizing details on a per-table basis, sorted by the estimated HANA size descending. Starting with the row and column store of the master node, here you can find valuable hints for missing housekeeping information. SAP BW contains system and log tables, which continuously grow. These tables can and should be kept small by appropriate cleanup measures. There are numerous SAP nodes available which describe such housekeeping measures. Finally, the column store tables on the slaves are displayed in detail. The report distinguishes PSA tables and change logs despite their identical naming patterns, adding a capital P or a capital C to their names. You can also see here that these tables have been considered as non-active indicated by the lowercase w in the second to last column. The amount of memory that has been saved for non-active tables is the difference in the two numeric columns in the middle. Please note that this sizing report also runs on a BW system that has already been migrated to the SAP HANA platform. In contrast to traditional database platforms, the report displays the true HANA table sizes instead of calculated figures. So the report can easily be used to verify the HANA sizing right after migration. For a more detailed description of the ABAP sizing report, please refer to SAP note 1736976. Attached to this note, you can find a comprehensive documentation of the report along with a list of FAQs and their answers.